All right, guys, today we're going to make a candle for our pack. So I got a, uh, just a uh, Coleman, you know, uh, fuel tank. And the stove that I'm using, in case you guys wonder if it fits right in my pack, is a uh, Primus. A Primus uh, comes in a little pouch. You just take it apart, put it in your pack, put the fuel in there. Use that for those windy, rainy days that we can't seem to make anything happen the way we want to, right? Uh, I'm going to try to tilt this a bit because I don't have my tripod with me. So, pardon the crooked video. <laughs> Let me see here. Yeah. You can see the top of the burner, which means you'll see my tin. So I just got one of these tins from uh, Self-Reliance Outfitters. The fixing wax I made myself. It's just lard and uh, beeswax. And it's got a little essential oil in it. Um, I have tons of this stuff. I mean, not tons, but I have at least 20 or 30 pounds of this stuff made up. I use it for all kinds of different things, always have. So, um, let's turn the gas on here. I'm going to turn it around where I can see it. I'm just going to light that up. Just like that, it's lit. I'm just going to take this little tin and be careful, don't burn your little fingers, right, as I always say, and just let it heat slowly. Um, we don't want to try to heat it too fast um, because it does have uh, some lard in it. We don't want it to go in, uh, you know, ignite, right, which it could do. Um, just do it nice and slow. You're probably better off to do it outside over a fire or on your grill or something like that. It's already starting to melt. I can actually... Turn that heat back just a little bit so it doesn't get too hot. Too hot. Then we're going to take some jute twine. Uh, just a nice strand of jute twine. And I have my, oh, there it is, the Buffalo Skinner. Pathfinder Knife Shop Buffalo Skinner. I really like this knife. I've been carrying it a lot. Um, I've always carried a wooden handle knife. I've always carried carbon steel. I really like this one. Um, I don't baton with it or anything, but I use it for all kinds of different things I'm finding. Um, more so than I did my last knife, and it came super sharp. So I'll tell you more about that knife at another video down the road when I feel that I've had enough time to justify telling you more about it. All right. So all we're going to do is just basically uh, take this jute twine and kind of just twist it and ball it up. We're not trying to be too fancy with this. I'm basically I'm making a pack candle, something that I can keep in my pack. I'm out hunting, you know. I go out either the night before or, or early, early, early in the morning, and I like to have a little light at my camp because um, I I set up my own camp. Um, I got quite a few acres, and I don't have to borrow land to camp on, so I can build whatever I want really. Um, as long as it's small enough where they won't charge me extra property tax, right? <laughs> but um, basically all I'm going to do is just make a nice thick wick out of this um, jute twine here. And then I'm going to saturate it in the lard and wax. And as it hardens, it's, I'm just going to let it stick up. That's all. It doesn't take much. So I can, while it's melting right now, I can just start saturating it, right? And I'll pour a little more on top after it melts a bit. And just get some on there. And I'll take that out and just let it let it set until the rest of this melts. And then I'll flip it over and stick the other side down in um, and prop it up as it's hardening. And typically, I just take um, maybe a couple screws or a couple nails and set them in there. So the wick has something to lean against. Uh, you don't have to, but I do. Um, I set something in there just to keep it straight. Um, you know, it is what it is. You can do what you want, but just start. You just move that around, and that was four um, cupcake, large cupcake size um, pieces of fixing wax. Like I said, it's lard, 100%, 100% lard, 100% beeswax, and um, I mix um, a five panaceed blend essential oil into it because I like the smell of it and I use it. I'm one of them people that get the 
broken cuticles in the winter time and they start to bleed and hurt really bad and I rub them on there. Uh, you can use it for chapped lips, whatever you want to use it for really. I don't put linseed oil in it or anything like that. So it's non-toxic. I use it to put on my knife, my knife blades, handles, I rub it in real good, put it on my leather, um, on my boots, all kinds of stuff. So um, you may have seen in a video of me making just some homemade quick fixing wax with lard and just beeswax. Um, it's like a half and half mix. That's it. You know, lard and beeswax. You don't have to get fancy with it with a lot of things people do. You can put some lavender into it, uh, give it a nice fragrance, get some natural lavender oil, uh, panaceed oil, uh, black cumin oil. All those fragrances not only going to be helpful um, when you're burning it as a candle, uh, but medicinal when you use it on your skin and, you know, things like that. So, but. There's people that know way more about that stuff than me. All I'm doing is making a nice little candle that I can put a lid on and that'll last me for a long, long time. And I'm talking this candle, even though I'm out in the woods a lot, this candle will last me for a very, very long time. All right, so that's, I'm turning my heat off now. So you're here at cool down. And um, my other piece is fairly hardened over at this point. And so, you know, I'm just making sure that we get this all nice and saturated and everything. And first time you use it, yeah, it's going to smoke a bit because, you know, it's got lard in it. Um, if you wanted to mix petroleum jelly with this instead of lard, that works just fine. You do not have to mix lard with your fixing wax. I just don't want petroleum jelly in my fixing wax. But if you mix petroleum jelly in there, you will get no black smoke whatsoever. Okay? So you won't get any of that soot or anything like that. This is bubbling pretty good as I'm holding it down in there so it's soaking up the uh, the wax. And then we'll come back um, once it's hardened over. Okay fellas, quick tip here. Um, so I just took basically a pencil and a screw stuck it through the top of the wick that I twisted up to get it kind of centered and then I'll just leave it sit there until everything cools down. Um, here's one thing I just want to say before this hardens over and you can see the end result and see it burning. Um, you don't have to wait until you're in the woods to do this stuff, right? A lot of these things we do prep work before we go into the woods. That way we don't find ourselves doing a lot of little busy work like this when we could be doing more important things like fixing up our camp, our shelters, our fire pits, chopping wood, you know, whatever it may be, hunting, right? I don't I don't want to be screwing around with this stuff when I'm out the night before getting ready for tomorrow's hunt. Um, I don't I don't want to be messing with all this stuff in the dark. Um, I don't want to be messing with all this stuff when I just need it. I need it now, not later, right? So I suggest that you start thinking about ways you can um, advance upon your camp, advance upon your, your outdoorsiness um, while you're at home. Okay, so if you can't make it to the woods, you're like, oh man, I, I got to go to work and I can't get to the woods for a couple weeks, whatever it may be. Hey, in the evening, do some little projects like this and start making some things for your camp, right? Or do a little forging and make some tools. Um, but at the end of the day, don't wait until you're out there to do stuff. You can do stuff right now. You don't have to wait, okay? And we'll come back once it's hardened over and I'll light it up for you. It's going to take a little while. All right, fellas. So, as you can see, it's mainly solidified. I bet you if I poke my finger down in there, it's probably still soft. But I can just take these two things out like that. And then let me grab my lighter here if I can find it. There it is. And nice and simple like. Give it a minute to burn a little bit of that wax away from the jute twine. And notice I didn't light it before I started the camera. There you go. Now if I turn my shop light off. Well, you can see my face, right? Well, it's because I was a big old flame and it's burning really bright. Now, let me turn my light back on real quick. Some people ask me. Um, why I don't just put, you know, oil in these things, right? I think my camera's falling over. <laughs> uh, why don't I just put oil in these things? Um, well, for one, one good reason. Um, I like using these tins um, because I can use them for many other different things when they're empty. Um, oil will leak out of these tins. 
Uh, number two, I don't have any other need for oil uh, when I'm out in the woods, really. Second, second, third. Um, like I said before, there's essential oils, beeswax, and lard in this. And if I need it for any type of uh, like chap lips or my cuticles or anything like that, tool handles, knives and stuff, I just rub my finger in there, rub it on whatever I need to rub it on, and I'm good to go. Um, so it's multi-purpose, and I really like that. Um, most importantly, this is my um, this is my candling device. This is my ambient light. Um, I really like having some candle light. I love to read when I'm camping, when I'm hunting, um, when I'm preparing for a hunt, when I'm doing overnights or week long or even three week long outages. Um, I like to have something that lights things up really good. Um, most importantly, it's a very long term consistent source of flame. I was to light this, it stayed lit for a very long time. And if I needed to, if I needed a really strong flame to start my fire, for whatever reason, tinder being really wet and everything, I could set this right underneath here and it's good. Um, after this all burns away or whatever it may be, um, I can use this, this canister again for another candle. I can use it as a char tin, uh, whatever I really need to use it for, right? So I try to find something that I, I, I can see me using it for a lot of different things. But mostly it's a candle. And you might be wondering, how do you put it out? Just starve it of oxygen and you'll be in good shape. Okay? That's all you have to do. You don't even have to blow it out. You notice I tried to blow it out and it didn't go out. Um, just put the lid on it and it's done. All right. Take care.